Yeah, thanks. I guess it's uh, time to start. Uh, so, uh, my name is Maciej, uh, I'm from Antmicro, and today I, I will talk about uh, open source fleet management in Zephyr. Uh, first, uh, a little background. Uh, at Antmicro, we provide a, a comprehensive set of uh, services relating to building uh, computing systems, and uh, those are, uh, those are uh, ranging from uh, hardware development, hardware bring up to creating and maintaining BSPs and uh, applications. And uh, we tend to choose uh, open source software wherever possible. Uh, so on uh, larger uh, systems, it's usually uh, Linux or uh, on systems where there is uh, like a, a user facing GUIs uh, required and we, we tend to use Android and for uh, microcontrollers. Uh, our go-to solution is uh, Zephyr, and we actually have been contributing, contributing and maintaining uh, uh, parts of Zephyr for a long time now. Uh, and uh, uh, to support uh, such a wide range of uh, systems uh, throughout uh, a product lifecycle, uh, we need a robust and uh, universal uh, over-the-air update system. So, uh, out of this need, uh, we have developed uh, RDFM. RDFM stands for uh, Remote Device Fleet Manager. Uh, and uh, it is a set of uh, interoperable tools that uh, facilitate uh, over-the-air uh, update uh, and uh, fleet management. It is uh, an uh, open source project. It is available on GitHub. Uh, it's github.com slash micro slash RDFM, if you'd like to, uh, to check it out. Uh, RDFM supports uh, the aforementioned uh, platforms, so uh, Linux, uh, Android, and Zephyr. Uh, for Linux, we have uh, uh, for generic Linux systems, we have uh, uh, an, app an application, uh, and uh, we generally uh, support that via. Uh, Yocto layer, uh, we have a, uh, our uh, own uh, layer called Meta and Micro, uh, and a sub layer of that is Meta RDFM. Uh, for Android, we have a, a dedicated uh, application that uh, interfaces with uh, Android uh, Update Engine API. And the most recent addition uh, to RDFM uh, is uh, support for Zephyr. And it is realized uh, via a proxy application uh, that is running uh, on a gateway device to which uh, Zephyr uh, devices uh, connect. Uh, RDFM in general has a modular uh, architecture. Uh, there is the RDFM uh, server uh, that exposes uh, a, a REST API to, uh, to, to manager applications. We have a a reference uh, tool uh, f f f that is called RDFM Manager. That is a CLI application uh, that exposes all of the uh, of the API to to the user. Uh, user uh, authorization uh, is supported uh, via an uh, auth uh, server, uh, which uh, uh, which implements the uh, OA, OAuth two standard. Uh, Package store uh, is also a, a, a modular. Uh, we support a plain uh, file system backed uh, package store and uh, 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 Amazon S3 compatible uh, uh, storage. Uh, and uh, we provide Docker Compose configurations for reference setup where uh, Keycloak is used for the authorization server and uh, MinIO uh, is used uh, as the S3 compatible uh, package store. Uh, yeah, and uh, RDFM uh, management server is like a centralized API for uh, managing fleets of devices. Uh, the devices uh, basically query the server if there is an uh, update available for the device and uh, if, if there is they uh, get uh, like location of, of the of the update file and uh, fetch it and uh, install it uh, and it is uh, like the, like the server is pretty agnostic so all of the uh, support specific to the platform is uh, is implemented in a dedicated client uh, 
and uh, generally uh, what uh, what allows uh, OTA uh, in in Zephyr uh, is is a, is a dedicated bootloader so to to perform an OTA and to boot to the to the new firmware version uh, there needs to be a, the, to be something that uh, that will actually uh, know what to boot and in case of Zephyr that is MCU boot so this is this is uh, 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 this is a bootloader that basically, uh, when uh, when it detects that a new firmware version was was written uh, to uh, to a specific place uh, in memory, uh, it uh, what it does it is it uh, swaps uh, the the new uh, the, the new payload for the old one. So this is different uh, from like uh, regular OTA systems, like in Linux, where you can just uh, boot to the to the new to the new uh, system uh, w without uh, doing this uh, this swapping. But in case of uh, MCUs, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the 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 actual firmware uh, needs to be placed at the specific address in memory because of. Uh, of uh, how how the uh, binary is linked, so this is uh, why the bootloader needs to actually swap the uh, the images uh, so so that the new one can be booted. And the old one is uh, left intact in the in the secondary slot, so that uh, rollback can be performed. Uh, and in Zephyr, to use uh, uh, MCU boot, uh, you need to build uh, Zephyr with uh, config option enabled. And uh, you need to configure partitions uh, in the device tree, so, it, so how the flash, flash is partitioned. So you can see there is a MCU boot uh, partition where, where the actual MCU boot uh, lives, and this, this needs to be uh, at the address where the, uh, where the device is booted. And then you have uh, partitions for the uh, primary and secondary uh, image and the scratch partition and scratch is used to basically allow swapping the, the images uh, in MCU boot. Um, and uh, the, the bootloader's role is to swap and boot the uh, updated image and uh, the actual transfer of the image uh, to write it to the secondary slot is performed uh, in the Zephyr firmware itself and the, comp the component responsible for that is called MCU Manager and it is a remote management library uh, that is uh, integrated with MCU boot uh, via device firmware upgrade subsystem. And it supports Bluetooth, UDP, and uh, serial as, uh, as uh, transport uh, protocols. Uh, and in RDFM, uh, MCU Manager uh, is, uh, is an application that is running on a gateway device between RDFM server and actual uh, Zephyr devices. Uh, and it is uh, an implementation of the RDFM client that integrates support for Zephyr OS with, with RDFM FAM via uh, MCU Manager uh, SMP server implementation. Uh, the application itself is written in Go. Uh, in, in Zephyr, uh, e, what, what you need to, to do to, to use uh, MCU Manager client is, is to uh, enable uh, the transport of your choice and enable uh, reboot and command groups uh, in, uh, in MCU Manager configuration. Uh, and uh, MCO uh, boot needs uh, the update uh, to be confirmed. Uh, if it is not confirmed, it will uh, restart and roll back to the previous version. Uh, and uh, MCU, man uh, MCU manager client uh, will basically, uh, by default, uh, manually uh, confirm the, uh, the update by default, but we also support uh, self-confirming mode where uh, Zephyr needs to uh, needs to confirm the uh, the uh, update itself, like basically do some uh, self testing and and to perform the confirmation. And we also support uh, grouped updates. This is a feature that uh, that allows uh, creating a virtual uh, device consisting of uh, multiple individual Zephyr devices, and. Uh, uh, in, in such case, when uh, when a group device is applied and it fails on one of the devices, uh, it will be rolled back on all of the devices. So if they need to be synchronized, then uh, this feature can be used. Uh, 
If you're interested uh, in the project, I linked uh, some, uh, I, I've placed some links in the presentation uh, to our DFM on GitHub and the documentation and so on. So, yeah. Uh, I'm running out of time, so no, no time for, for questions, I guess. So, thank you for, the, for your attention.